Okay, we're back in the X Lounge. This stuff is dried to the point where I could probably go ahead and continue bending that over. This one's a hair bit long. <clears throat> so I'll take a hair bit off. That looks good. This one, it's okay. that's flush up against this retaining wall here. Shoot that across the room. So once this is set up here in a few moments, I'll, I'll cut all that back flush, and then I'll cut these flush down in here, and then I'll grind out with the old Dremel tool. You know what? I forgot. I gotta, okay, gotta cut a, gotta cut a, cut a, cut a, cut a. Oh look, here's some pieces. I'll cut them out of that. size they need to be. Hmm. Oh, looks like about 530 seconds of an inch. Or I could just eyeball it. fun thing to do. Real world measurements. I think that's what they call that when you when you don't use a ruler or a tape measure. Oh look at that. Tweezers are gone again. Oh yeah. These always come out not quite straight. I mean, look at that. That's a wedge shape there. I was going to say you always, you know, jam it in there with the smallest portion down so that kind of taper fits itself in there. But that was, was out of control, man. Boy. 
Oh yeah, that'll work. Just has to hide that hole. It's a hidey hole. Ooh, I went too far. I tried to fly too close to the sun. Okay, there's that one. Here comes the other one. Okay, we'll be back later to trim all that up. The, the fender extensions, fender extensions? I don't know what they are. These things are dry now and they are solid. And the next step is to grind away the excess with the Dremel tool. Uh, you'll notice that this is on one of those flexible uh, shafts and the Dremel tool is actually underneath of the table mounted there solidly so that it stays in place. While I use it. Okay, now for the inside that I was talking about earlier. There's a piece of saw blade left in there. Well.
Okay, so that made a horrendous mess. Okay, so there's the rough end. Uh, as you can tell, there's a little piece of saw blade left right there that got broken off uh, when I was sawing out that hunk and got way, way, way off course. You can see where I went all the way around there and finally it failed and broke. Okay, so let's see if that fits in there any better. It does. I mean, there's not a lot of room there, but uh, it's just going to be the way it is. So, I guess I ought to flush that up now. I don't know what I'm going to use. However, I do know I'm going to use the Dremel tool, so maybe that one. Put your tools back when you're done with them. You know where they are. The next time. Uh, that is not fast enough. Where is it? I mean, I don't want. To... Oh, that's what's going on. get the RPMs up too high and it just melts the plastic and makes a giant mess. When, there's, when it's slow like this, it takes a little bit longer, but you don't have... What's that hitting? No, oh, that's hitting down there. You don't end up with big melted boogers on everything. Ah, pig!